Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today I have a follow-up video for the Tonar BM700 microphone. That's this microphone that I'm using right here. And why a follow-up? Because John E5 FPV commented and asked, can I use the XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable that comes with the kit to go directly into his Sony A7 camera? So, time to put that to the test, and that's this exact setup I have here. I have the BM700 connected to a long XLR cable going into the Phantom Power adapter that came with the kit to the XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable that also came with the kit going into my Sony a7 III camera. And yes, it works just fine. One little uh, trick for you is watch your recording levels. I ended up turning mine down to about three or four. Otherwise, it was a little too hot. I was getting a little too much noise. Now, you probably will have some background noise doing it this way because the preamps on the cameras on basically any DSLR are simply not that good. So you will probably end up picking up some electronic noise. It's very simple to take out in post-production by making sure that you have a good quiet segment at the beginning of your footage and use that to train the audio noise reduction in your software. Now assuming that everyone watching this, or at least the most of you who are here for the Learn DaVinci Resolve channel, are using DaVinci Resolve and its audio noise reduction has a learn feature. Now there is a video and a link above to that so you can see how to use the audio noise reduction in DaVinci Resolve and that should clean up anything that you're hearing uh, that it's picking it up. Now this part of the video is all done with no post processing of the audio. So there may be a little hiss in the background or when I'm not talking you might hear a little bit of hiss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause for a moment, let you hear that, then I'm going to turn on some audio noise reduction so we can hear just how good we can get this audio to sound going directly into the camera. Now one uh, thing to note is, as I mentioned in the review, I'm normally recording to a Tascam DR60 Mark II. Now this is a mono microphone going into a uh, a regular recorder, it's only going to pick up the signal that it's getting. So I'm getting one channel, which is basically the left channel on here. And when I go into resolve, I need to go to the clip attributes and then tell it to put the same audio on the right channel. So it comes out of both speakers. Now using my Sony a7 III and probably pretty much all DSLRs, they're going to have mono input. So this setup is going to actually give you a mono signal, but it's on both channels. So you don't need to go that extra step of going into the clip attributes, going to audio and telling it to put the same audio on the right channel. It's just going to come out of both speakers. So a little gain in productivity there doing it that way, but you'll probably also have to add some audio noise reduction. So not that big of a deal, but to answer the question, Johnny five FPV, Yes, you can use just the stuff that came with it, although you will need a XLR cable long enough to go from the microphone to your equipment. And I mean, XLR cables are pretty cheap on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below to help you find one, but it will work. And it should work with pretty much anything that has a standard 3.5 microphone input. So whether maybe you have a laptop or a computer with a sound card that has a uh, audio in, you can do that, a camera, uh, or even inexpensive little audio recorders, this will work. Now the quality of the audio is going to be dependent on the preamps that are in those devices. I'm probably going to stick to doing it with my Tascam because the preamps are really, really good and I don't have to do any processing of the audio when I'm finished. So Johnny 5 FPV, thanks for the comment and asking if this was possible. And yes, it absolutely is possible and really appreciate you asking the question and that I was able to do this response video. 
But thanks to all of you subscribers out there. Be sure and check out our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. I'll put a link above so you can get over to that real quickly. If you're new to the channel, be sure and subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I put out new videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.